and thank you for tuning in. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Thank you for joining me on Monday Night YouTube Live. Just want to see who... Hey, Jill! From the Northeast Ohio. I hope you're not getting bad weather. Boy, New Jersey, I guess, got slammed. So hop on, say hi. Let me know where you're from and is, if this is the first time watching, okay? Let me grab my glasses. I want to say Happy New Year to everyone. First, this is the first time I'm seeing you this year. <laughs> hi, Stacy. Hi, Denise. I hope the new year so far has been good to you. And we're going to get started. I have a lot of things to go over. I am so excited about tomorrow because, as you know, the new mini catalog goes live. And then I can open it after this. So excited. Hi, Karen. Hi, Randy. Randy, you're in New Jersey. How's the weather there? I just saw around Atlantic City got like 10 inches of snow. Okay, so let's get started. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. And by the way, this is a new mug. Let me see if I can get the right way. These are on the uh, Stamper's Delight shop. And you can get them in silver, silver elite, gold, and gold elite right now. And also, let me just show you this, because this is probably my favorite thing on the new website. Okay, I'm going to tilt this a minute so you can see it. This is my PMS sweatshirt. PMS. Purchase more stamps. Is that a great sweatshirt or what? You can also get it in a t-shirt. So I had to show you that because that is probably my favorite thing on the website right now. So anyway, grab whatever you're drinking and let's get started. Okay, so as we know, the mini catalog starts tomorrow. Kathy Taylor, first time watching. Thank you. Hi, Kathy, Susie, Teresa. Thank you all for tuning in. All right, so this starts tomorrow, so I can't open it yet. And if you're in Australia, like I see Susan is, it's actually tomorrow there, so they can all see the cat the catalog. Um, so a couple of things here. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, celebration starts tomorrow. So for every $50 or $100, depending on what you want, you get a free item in here. Also, uh, there's a, a sign-up special for the um, starter kit and to join my team. And this is such a great deal. I wish I could join again. You're going to get $125 worth of merchandise for $99 and free shipping. But then you also get two, not one, two free stamp sets of your choice out of the catalogs, either the big catalog or this one. So to join, you're just going to go to Stampers, and that should have an S in it. Just notice the typo there. We'll redo that. StampersDelight.com. And join the fun to join my team. And you want to do that tomorrow, not today, because you want to get those free stamp sets. Okay. So next on the agenda, I want to remind everybody that you have to sign up by... Um, January 10th to get the Hugs and Kisses Paper Pumpkin if it's available in your area. That should be a cute little kit. I can't wait to see what's in it so I can do some alternatives for you. I want to remind you that today is the last day to sign up for my paper share. Something's on that paper. That is on the website, um, stampersdelight.com. You'll be able to see all the papers that you get and the price that ends tonight. So, or I should say first thing tomorrow morning when I place the order. So if you want to get in on my paper share, definitely check that out. The other item I have, I know I'm going over this quick so we can get into some stamping is my online retreat. And you do have to sign up for that tomorrow uh, by tomorrow. I may be able to give you a little leeway on a day or two, but the reason I put these dates out there is so that nothing goes to back order. And I guarantee anything with a, I shouldn't guarantee it, but anything with a punch lately has been going on back order. So you really want to get in on the online retreat. And what you're going to get uh, for the online retreat is you're going to get these 
uh, items right here, the two stamp sets and this punch. So that's the bundle. You're also going to get uh, a free celebration item of your choice, a swag bag with not only all of that in it, you're also going to get the embellishments and ribbons that you need to uh, do eight projects. And you will get a, an exclusive video tutorial, step-by-step, -step, and um, still shots sent to you. So this really, you really should sign up for this uh, today because I plan on getting this out by January 15th so that you can get it in your hot little hands and play with it. The other thing, <laughs> one more thing that I have here is um, my online class. So I also do a monthly online class and that is going to be with the Hello Ladybugs. If I'm going through too fast for everything, just go to my blog, stampersdelight.com. It's all there. Okay. My monthly class, which you have to sign up by the 10th. Again, I caution you sign up as early as you can, because I have no idea what's going to go on back order. You know, we all know that there are um, production problems, not just with Stampin' Up! all over the world, so you want to get in on that. So this is Hello Ladybug. That's my January online class. Here were two of the cards that I did on my video, and here's those little ladybugs that are on the clearance rack right now, so you can get on those, get on there and order those right now. I ordered extra because of this bundle. So definitely want to sign up um, for that class. Okay, so those are all the specials, online classes, everything I got going on right now. So for today, or tonight, I am going to be showcasing Gumball Greetings. And of course, that's a bundle. And I just love this. I, well, I love all our sets, but I love the Gumball. Here's the dies. You can see I don't have my magnetic sheet on here yet. But here's all the dies you get. I will caution you, there's a little tiny die right there, and it is very easy to lose, so be careful with that. And then, of course, here's the stamp sets, or the sayings. Happy Valentine's Day. Well, you can see it. Okay? I am still playing with the lights and trying to find the best way not to get any glare. Oh, that seemed to be better. So just bear with me while I am in my new spot and try to get a working uh, lighting perfect here. The other thing you'll see with the samples is I use uh, one card. I did a birthday card, and that's a celebration stamp set, special moments, great uh, sentiments and greetings on this. And this is a definite uh, go-to set right now for greetings. And the other thing that you'll see that I'm using is the die for sweet conversation. I'm using this die right here on one of my cards, the tag die. This is the little envelope. I do have a video that I've done out there already on the sweet conversation. So definitely go back and check it out. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up. Okay, so let's get started with the gumball greeting. So the first thing I did... Uh, let me just check and say, no snow there. You're in North New Jersey. Okay, so you're up closer to New York. And we've uh, from North Carolina. Oh, my gosh. So Kathy Taylor, watching the first time, she's got snow in North Carolina. It went odd the way the storm system went. We just got rain. Okay, so what I used for this one is from the Sweet Conversations, we have those little... Um, boxes, treat boxes. They remind me of the, the Smarties or the sweet treats. I don't have anything in there. I would eat it anyway. It wouldn't make it very long. We have that nice faux ribbon um, from the sweet conversations. It's faux linen ribbon. Faux as in fake. <laughs> nice ribbon though, really. I, I really love the feel of it. You can see here I use that dye from the Sweet Conversations. And I use that little gumball machine right here. So cute. I mean, these would make great uh, teacher's gifts, co-workers gifts. So a cute little box that you can just make. Well, the boxes are made. You can just decorate. And of course, this is the designer series paper from that uh, bundle or suite, which is also in my paper share. So that's my first item that I did with it. 
The next one I did, and I used a lot of bright colors because I think it just needs that. We have um, Granny Apple Green back there. And I took this stamp with all the little gumballs. And I just did some gumballs on the Granny Apple Green. You can see I stamped them in different colors on the envelope. And then this is what that looks like when you do it. Okay, so there's your cup because it's a little gumball cup shaker card and I did it in real red and it's got this little piece already open so the gumballs are falling out and may your day be filled with the best things and there's the little gumballs and what I did was this is the um, foil paper that's in the catalog now the holiday catalog that ends today so if you don't have any of this foil paper you want to hop on and get that and I don't know if you can see it but it does have this little piece right here and I have it going up and down. And I just put a little matte black um, doodad on there. Okay, so that was my first card that I did. Wishing you the sweetest day ever. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you, Joyce. Good to see you. Hi, Judy. Hi, Dawn. So this is a cute little gumball card and I, I got I really did get a little obsessed with this I love these little guys okay so that was the next sample now in the annual catalog we also have these little fun shapes right here stars hearts and little green they look like gumballs so don't forget you can also use stuff in the annual catalog now this one I did a little different I did use the cup I don't know if you could see it back there but I stamped using the stamp and then I cut it out and then I put that piece that pops out right behind it again. And then of course I just stamped this part portion and cut it out so I didn't add the extra pieces here. Just stamped it and cut it out and I made another gumball machine. But this one I made a birthday card and that's the one that I showed you that new stamp set. Hi Linda. It, it does look realistic. Yeah, this makes it really look realistic with the um, foil paper. It really does. So, again, I used the Daffodil Delight and the Granny Apple Green and the pink in here. I just think that looked cute, too. And it's, you know, something different. You don't have to use the gumballs. And then, of course, may your day be filled with all the best things because that could be for a birthday card too so don't just think the gumball is for valentine's day you can change it and make it into birthday cards i just love these okay the next one i'm going to show you is uh again a little bit different i used just this stamp i stamped it and then i used my blends and for this gray area right here, I used the Smoky Slate, and then I used some Winka Stella. So you can see that it's shiny. Almost, you know, getting that kind of shiny effect like this, but just a different look, because it's stamped. Then what I did was, I, again, I took the gumball, and I inked, inked it up in red, inked it up in green, inked it up in yellow. So, and then in between what I did was I just took a regular marker and I colored them in. So you can color in different colors and then you can get different colors all the way around. But you can see I just stamped the images, no cup there, no beads, just a flat one. I did cut these out because there is um, dyes that cut these out. So I did color and cut a few of those out, if you can see that and put them on dimensionals and then again there's that faux linen ribbon which i'm in love with and there is that sweet conversations dsp behind there happy valentine's day may your day be filled with the best things so another and this course this is a tent fold so that was another card i created i just had so much fun with this set the next one I'm going to show you is actually what I'm going to create tonight. It's a fun fold. I call it a trifold card. I've done this one before. Don't know that it really has a name, so I'm calling it a trifold card. Forgot to mention that is my host code for January, so you want to use that if your uh, order is $150 or less. If it's $150 or more, don't use the host code. 
because uh, you want to get the hostess benefits. Remember, it's Stamper's Delight. I forgot the S in there. I will reprint that to place an order with me. Hi, Molly. Okay, so here's the fun fold I'm going to show you today. And, of course, all my envelopes are stamped. So you can see I have that background paper. Now, this, this right here, I'll show you what that die is. So the dies, this die, this one, are, of course, these two pieces here. This long one right here goes around that outer edge. I like to show you where they're being used. This one right here, of course, is this die. And that little tiny guy right there is this little piece up here, which I did in silver, just so you could see it. And then, of course, this piece is in silver. And where's my other little one? This guy right here, the little turn handle is right there on top of this. So those are how the dies work. And I do like to let you know that because there are a lot of pieces to it. And of course, there's a stamp that says five, which would be five cents. And that cuts that one out. And that one I put right there. Okay. Anytime you have any questions and I don't get to the questions when I'm live, please don't hesitate to mess message me. I will answer you. Okay. All right. So here's the little gumballs too, before I show you. These are like a translucent color. They do get all over the place if you drop them. <laughs> and here are those other sh shapes that I use. Those are the shaker shapes, and they are in the annual catalog. And you can mix and match them. You can actually use them together. That would be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so here's the card that I did. Uh, did I mention this piece? Let me just show you. Okay, so there's that long piece. Now, when you cut that out, you see all those little hearts that they pop out. Let me just grab my little tray here. And you can see them in my little tray. See the little hearts? So you want to save those because you can use them. Also, what you see on some of these cards is the Baker's Twine, which is right here. And that's to the new um, stamp set sports fan, I think it's called. So you get three different colors, and that red and white just went nice with this. You love that card? Thank you, Kathy. Kathy, you're new. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so here's the card. The card opens like this, and then like this, and then like that. Just a cute little trifold fun card, fun fold card. Not hard to make at all. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to bring in or get a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. So you want 12 by 12 for that. Now this is not gonna be a four and a quarter inch card like these normally are. Okay, it's gonna be a four inch card. So this is, see it's a little bit shorter. All right, so you are going to take a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, you're gonna cut it at five and a half. Don't worry about the dimensions, although it's very easy. I will post that later tonight on the description. So there we have it, okay? That's what you cut, a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock at five and a half. Now what you're going to do, you like the shaker cards? Okay, now what you're going to do is you are going to score that at four inches Remember, it's a 12 inch long and you can either flip it over and do it at four inches again, or you can slide that right through because this great arm comes out and go to eight inches. So four and eight, there's your fold. That's it. Doesn't get any easier than that. Then you're going to fold these in. And you're going to really want to burnish this well. So let me get my, my uh, bone folder here and really burnish that well. You can see I have my name on that one. And then just make sure you get it burnished really well. And that's your trifold card right there. Okay, putting that aside, I'm going to bring in a piece of that fun designer series paper. This is, I just love this print because it's so much fun. And that's going to go right on the top. 
But we're not going to adhere that yet because we got to do this part. We got to do the little shaker part. I'm going to show you the way I do it that makes it easier for me. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is this is three and three quarters. And I'm just going to bring in this trimmer so I can show you. So this is three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And I'm going to take another piece of white cardstock at the same size, three and three quarters by five and a quarter. That's for the back of this, okay? Okay, so what I'm going to do is this has to go behind it so that it doesn't, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is let me get my die cutting machine. I just like it a little bit thicker. That's why I do it this way. You can mount this on top of your card without that piece, and I'm gonna show you both ways, okay? So I'm gonna take this piece first. I got my die cutting machine right here. And let me get my dies out. Let me move this, because I'm working in a small space here. So the first die I want this one. I'm going to put these over here so I don't lose them. And let me get my pieces out here. Okay. Should have had that ready, right? Okay. So here's my platform. I really have to get organized on this table. It's only my like second or third uh, video that I've done in my new area, so I'm still working on that. Okay, so this is gonna go on here, and what I'm gonna do is I am going to just figure out where I want that. So the way I do that, now the wider part goes down at the bottom, and then the other die, you can really just, what you can do is take a pen or a pencil and figure out where you want that. Now, I'm not gonna put the strip on this one, so I'm just going to place it right about here. Okay. I'm a wing it kind of person. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know a lot of people measure everything and mark everything, but I'm kind of like a wing it person. So I'm gonna put it, I am going to put that there. And I am going to cut this. Now, a lot of times I cut my pieces out beforehand. The reason I didn't with this one is because there's so many pieces. I want you to see how they all come together. Okay, so there's my first piece. All right, so that is for the gumball. Now I'm gonna bring in some red, some real red. And I'm not stamping anything. I'm just going to cut the dies out. So I got that die. And I have this die, which goes right over it. And then I have this long piece right here, which also goes on it. Like I said, there's a lot of pieces to it, but it's a fun set. And I'm just going to cut those out. Oh, one more piece. I need the little top. Although, you know what? I'm not going to do the top in red this time. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Okay. So... Normally, I would put a um, post-it note here if these were stamped images, but they're not, so I'm not going to bother. Hi, Gina. Oh, snowy and cold in Canada. I bet it is. Your grandchildren would love that card? Yes, and the great thing is I just showed you how to make a birthday card, too. Okay, so let's move this for a second. Let's grab all these pieces. Okay, so here's, that's the piece that's gonna go right here. This piece, when you cut it out, goes right over that, okay? And then there's this long piece right here, and that actually goes on the bottom there. Now, hopefully I don't lose any of my pieces. We're just gonna throw those over there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in a piece of that silver uh, foil paper that I told you about. 
And that's the paper that is being retired after the holiday catalog. Who knows if it'll come back? I don't think it is, but you never know. And that, I'm going to use this piece right here. And I'm also going to grab the top piece right here. I'm going to do that one in silver. And since I'm doing it in silver, I really don't need that extra little tiny piece that I told you about. You could use it if you wanted to, but I'm not going to because I want this all silver. So I'm going to roll that in. Denise, you measure, measure, and measure, and it's never straight. That's why I don't bother. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that probably drives people crazy, but it's like, okay. I do try to get it straight, but I don't measure, measure, measure. Okay, so that's how that's going to look. Now, I think I'm going to bring in that red piece again because I think I'm going to change up that little dial because you can't really see the silver on the silver, and I want you to see how that works. So I'm going to put that little dial now in red. So I don't know if you watched my video um, from Friday morning Facebook Live. Oh, my goodness. How to start the year out right in the middle, right at the end of my live. We lost power. I did come back on and finish the card, but oh, my gosh. It was just like, boom. Okay, no power. <laughs> Generator to the rescue. Okay, so here's that little piece. We're just going to pop that guy out right there. Put him right there. All right, I'm going to stick them up there so I don't lose them. And again, that's the little die that I used. I'm going to put that over there so I don't lose that. Let's put this aside for now. All right, so let's bring this all in. Okay, and here's my little cups. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is, I really do want to put this cup on there first. So uh, that I do want to try to get straight. So let me grab my paper tool here. Take your pick tool. I'm just going to pull this off. And I'm going to set that right on here. It is very sticky. Okay. Let's try to get that straight. I don't know if my head's in the way here. Okay. So we are going to lay that right down there. Okay. All right, so that's on. Now this piece, I'm going to put right here. And I am going to go ahead and use Tombow on these pieces, okay? So that if I make a mistake, I can move it, slide it over a little bit. So I'm just putting some Tombow here. You don't want to put Tombow on that little gate, little opening. Little gate. You know what I mean. Okay, I'm going to put that down right here. See, this lifts up, so you want to make sure you don't glue that down. DSP looks great on the background. I know, it's such a fun designer series paper, right? Okay, now this little guy goes right over here, and you could make these in different colors so they show up, okay? But it just adds some dimension to your gumball machine. Just adding a little bit. You can also use the um, adhesive sheets that we have. They would work nicely on this. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and lay that down. So you can see how it's coming together, and there'll be still shots on the website that it's a little bit more detailed. Okay, now I also have, or I had, where did it go? Right here, this little piece, and that goes right around the bottom. So as most of you know, I retired from my day job. I'm still helping out a little bit, truth be told. But uh, I retired, and I am doing stamping full time. I did want to get to 10,000 viewers on my YouTube channel before I retired. I didn't quite get there yet, but over 9,556, so I'm doing well. So thank you all, and don't forget to share my videos. Okay, so there we have that piece down there now, okay? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and keep going with this and 
I got that piece. Okay, where'd the silver piece go? See, I still lose things. I'm trying to be so... That's going to go up there. I might have to cut another one out because I don't know what I did with them. Did he fall? Anybody see it on the table? <laughs> Crazy how I lose these things. You know it's here somewhere. Anybody see it? Not yet, huh? Okay, it's got to be on here. I just cut it out. Well, we're just going to grab another one, that's all. That's so bizarre. Okay, let me grab another one. You know I'm going to find it as soon as I do this. Okay, so let's cut out another one. Just give me one second. I did that on purpose so you could see how it's done again. <laughs> you love this set, Becky? Yeah, me too. You're a messy liquid glue person. You you prefer the adhesive sheets. You know what? So do I. I'm very I always said I was a messy glue, uh, liquid glue. And I have been using it a little bit more lately. I'm still messy. <laughs> But I have been trying to use it a little bit more. Sometimes in a pinch, it's just, for me, it's better. Okay, so here we have this piece, and this is going to go right here. And for this one, I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Okay, and wrong case. Let's see where the dimensionals are. There they are. I keep everything in my plastic cases like this, and I just use my old designer series paper. And usually I have the names on the side here of what it is. See, like that says in, in color gems. So this way I'm not looking around for things for days. All right, I'm going to get my dimensionals. I think I'm going to set my alarm early tomorrow so I can get online and get my order in really fast. Anybody else do that? Crack a dawn to get your order in. Okay, so I'm putting four dimensionals on here. Probably don't need that many, but I'm putting them on there anyway. I'm going to put that right there. What a fun card. Whoop. This one didn't come off. Okay. Put that right there. Okay, now this little guy is the dial, and you'll see what I mean. You can see that this dial shows up better in red. So again, I'm gonna take a little liquid glue. Whoop, a little bit too much. See, Karen, that's what I mean, I do it too. Try to get some of that off. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy says she already gave me a thumbs up, and I'm just going to press that on there. So you see that the dial shows up a little bit better if you use a different color, but you can use the same color. Now in here, you would normally use that little five cents. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to do a little bling there just to be different. Let me see how that would look. Something fun, a fun color, pink. I'm going to put a little bling right in there. Yeah. See, this one I have the five cents. I have to change it up a little bit. And this one I have that little bling. Okay. So now the front of that is done. Whoop. Didn't glue that. Did I glue that? I didn't glue him down yet. And for this one, I'm just going to use a little of my liquid glue here. All right. There we go. Okay. Now, to get the beads in there, this is why I always have another piece of cardstock. Because to me, it's, I just want to make sure I use the right one. There we go. You can use a half a sheet if you want. And then glue it to the card. But I like to use a full sheet. It just gives me a thicker front. But this is how I do it. So this way you don't have to try to figure out if you're, you know, straight or not. Okay, so I am just going to grab a few of those beads. I'm going to put them right in here. 
Oh my gosh, they're so much fun. Whoop, there goes one. Okay, I think that's good. Oh, thank you guys. I love you guys. Okay, we're going to gently pull this piece off. I am so happy to be back with you this year. I am hoping for a better year for all of us. Okay, and I am just going to lay that right over here. Now, the thing is, if I don't get it straight, I can trim off. Okay, but I got it pretty, pretty straight on there. So that's the way I do it. I do it with a full sheet of paper. You could also just use a half a sheet and then glue it to the front. And this is going to be the front of my card. But before I do that, I want to do this piece inside. I just want to glue that down. So I'm going to grab the other piece of designer series paper. And I'm going to glue that inside there. So here is the other piece. Let's see what's on the other side. I don't know. Stripes this time? Stripes? I just like the, the hearts. I'm going with the hearts. Okay, I'm going to switch it up now, and I am going to use my stamp and seal. And just put that right in there. Okay. And, and then inside, of course, I'm going to stamp that. Now, this I stamped right on the card, but I have pink, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stamp on a piece of white. This is actually going to go right on the top here, and it's thicker. But instead of laying it down flat, I am going to do some dimension. I want to put it, I want this popped up, okay? I really want this a three-dimensional card in every which way. Now, this is a wide or a big piece, so I'm going to do three across the top. I just want this a real fun dimensional card. Now, I know somebody's going to say, well, how are you going to mail that? Well, yeah, it might cost a little extra to mail, and I might have to put a little cushion in it or send it in a little padded envelope. But I know that there's somebody in your life that deserves that. Now, isn't there? Otherwise, I'm just giving it to my husband, and I don't have to mail that. <laughs> I think this is going to California to my Cali kids. Shout out to them for helping me. Um, when they came home, they are great helping me out with technology and adding new items to the Stamper shop, Stamper's Light shop, like the PMS sweatshirt, which I'm wearing. Absolutely love that. Okay, I am going to lay that down right there. Okay. So now I just have to decorate the front. This one says, I choose you, and we're going to do something. Let's see. We'll use something else here. Uh, may your day be sweet. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Wishing you the sweetest day ever. I think I'm going to use that one. All right. I'm going to go into my little drawer here where I have extra pieces of things already cut out from other projects. See, the little drawer. Let's see what we got in here. We've got this cute little guy, but I mean, he might be too big. Let's see. Let's see which one I want to use. I think the Valentine's Day is too wide. So let me just see. What's this one? Oh, I got a little tag here. A little, man, that's gold. I don't want gold and silver. So let's play here and see what we've got. I think I'm going to use one of these. Or I might just use a strip. I think that would take away from it. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We'll just grab a strip here. How's that? Okay. And we're going to do Happy Valentine's Day on this one. Remember, this is a card on the fly. I haven't made this one. I did the basic card. Okay, so for this one, I am going to grab just the Happy Valentine's Day. I'm going to grab my mat. Where would you get the little bubbles for the gumballs? The little, the bubble case right here, it's in the catalog. Okay, so you buy the, you buy the suite or the bundle and you can buy the bubbles. And that's on page 12 of the new catalog, Anna. And if you don't have a catalog, I can help you out with that. Just message me and I'll get you one. Anybody that needs a catalog, doesn't have already have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. 
Okay, I am just going to stamp that down. There we go. And for those of you who contact me about my uh, little TikTok video about Mission Impossible with the uh, stamp room down here, I will do a video when it's done. It's going to be a while, but it's getting there. It's never ending, actually. I'm just going to snip that off. So I might do like a half video, half done, something like that. But shout out to my husband because he has really been wonderful. I'm going to put this Happy Valentine's Day down here on this one. So again, I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Yeah, my husband put together all my Ikea stuff that I bought. He just painted the wall that was never painted before, which should have been when I went from purple to pink. <laughs> so he's been, he's been very helpful. Shout out to him. Okay, happy Valentine's Day. Okay. Now, I don't want to do the front yet because I'm not sure. In here, I'm going to grab, may your day be filled with all the best things. Let's see what I have here. Let's see if that'll fit. Yeah, I have a little. This is from our scallop punch, which is still available. And that's going to fit nicely right in there. Uh, this I'm going to do flat. I don't want to get too carried away with all the dimensionals. Okay. And then on the inside, we're going to grab a piece of white cardstock for that. And we are going to stamp. Wishing you the sweetest day ever. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this stamp with the gumballs on it. And I'll show you what I did to get different gumball colors. What I was explaining before is I just colored it in red. And then I have a yellow. And I have a pink. These are regular markers. And then I'm just going to huff on it. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Red, pink, yellow. And I'm going to stamp that up there. Miss that little piece, but maybe I'll just color it in. Look at that. Okay, that's good. And go ahead and put that on the inside. Look at that. Another cute Valentine's Day. I'm not done with it yet, but another cute Valentine's Day, right? Okay, so let's take a look at what I have in here. So I uh, did these earlier. I have a bunch of little gumballs and I have some little hearts. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to decorate this a little bit. Oh, before I do that, I want to put some gumballs here. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of Tombow around here or liquid glue and then I'm going to bring in those cute little gumballs again having to go before the power goes off we'll come back oh gosh yeah there's nothing worse than losing power trust me I know all right and I am going to pick these up because I'm just going to plop them down there I want to get a, okay, that's a purple one. Just whatever color comes out. Use my take your pick tool to put it where I want it or see if I can get it there. There we go. Okay, we're going to put that one right there. And we got two purples together, but that's okay. And there's that. Okay, so there's some little gumballs. Oh, I got to do one more. I'll put a green one right inside there. Oh my gosh, look how cute, right? Look at that. See the little flap opens and there's the gumballs running out. Now on the inside, I don't, and that's going to dry a little bit, but on the inside, I don't want to have gumballs, uh, you know, 3D gumballs. So I can use the hearts or some gumballs and I'm going to use some more gumballs. 
So with these, I am going to use some dimensionals. And I think I have some mini ones here, yeah. And they fit perfect on these little gumballs because I already have hearts here. So I want some gumballs there. I'm gonna add a gumball there. Green one. Let's see what other color. I got a red one, I think. Do I have any yellows? Purple. Yellow. That's what I was looking for, a yellow one. Okay, so I'm going to grab the yellow one. Oh my gosh, what a fun card. And we'll put the yellow one right here. So now we have a little gumball shaker card. Ta-da! What do you think? Super cute card. Thank you, Gina. I appreciate that. Okay, I also want to remind everybody, because I always forget this too, I do have a rewards program, and when you order through me, that includes on the online classes or retreats, every time you order $50 or more before shipping and tax, I give you a punch on here. And when this card is full, you get $25 in free merchandise from me. So you definitely, and I do keep track of the online orders, so that is something I also wanted to mention. Okay, so let's bring in the cards. Oh, forgot the envelope. Well, I'm going to cheat this time and just use hearts. And then I don't only have to color it once. Okay, so I'm just going to use the red hearts here. No naked envelopes. There we go. And now we have an envelope to match. Did you like that one? Oh, thank you. Adorable, adorable. I love you guys. Okay, so this is the one we just did. Fun trifold card. Remember, it's 12, a 12 by 12 piece cut at five and a half. And then just uh, scored at four inches and eight inches. Here's the one I showed you from earlier. See there, I put some hearts on it. Then we had this one. And I will have still shots tomorrow on my blog. And we had this one. I love the shaker cards. We had the shaker card with the... Um, Shaker Shapes in the annual catalog, fun bright card. And then we had the little gumball machine for a little um, Valentine's gift. Oh, thank you everybody. Okay, let me flip the camera. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget this catalog goes live tomorrow. You can place your orders. Use that host code if your order is less than $150. If you don't have a catalog, please contact me. I will get you out one if you're in the United States. And also don't forget that I am giving away some prize patrol, a little uh, goodies. And I already, uh, I already um, told two people who won. Uh, if you leave a message or a comment and on Facebook or YouTube, you're in the drawing for a free little giveaway. I have five more here. So I'll be pulling two names from this video, one from YouTube and one from Facebook. And I will put it on Facebook and, uh, you know, YouTube I will contact you but you do have to contact me within a week and give me your address so i can get you out your prize patrol okay so again thank you so much for tuning in i hope you have a wonderful evening and a wonderful week and i will be back on friday morning facebook live 9 a.m eastern standard time until then keep on stamping stampers <laughs>